Just third quarter was when you guys seemed to really take control of the game and pull away. What was the biggest difference in that? Um, I think that we were uh, starting to get the groove of the game and um, we were able to find our flow and steady up and be able to get stops. And that was um, helping us with, you know, uh, our possessions and getting back on offense. Yeah, I think our energy was really good and we were really talking through things and that just really kind of jump-started us. Taylor, George Alfano, Oklahoman. Uh, were you, did you feel completely in the rhythm of the game? I mean, yeah, um, we were just really sharing the ball. It was really easy to play. Um, we were just playing really good team basketball. And whenever we play team ball, it's everybody's hitting shots. So it's really easy to feel in a groove. For both of you, uh, what happened which was different in the second half compared to the first half? Um, like I said, I think we were able to kind of steady up and uh, run our offense a little bit better and make reads. Um, and getting stops was able to help that too. She said it. Oh. it she covered it. It was pretty good. I thought it was good. It was a good answer. <laughs> the game really in the paint, it was one of the more physical games that probably most of us have seen in a while, but is that almost a Big 12 style game with the physical play and hammering on the boards like that? Yeah, we like to establish the paint early. That's one of our main focuses on the offensive end and the defensive end. And so just being aggressive early and playing from the inside and out, and we were able to execute that pretty well today. Um, yeah, one of our, um, I mean, that's us, is just physical play. Um, banging on the inside, on defense and offense, just making it hard for our opponents um, to even want to come into the paint. So. And then just in the third quarter, the, 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 bit, the big run was started off by a technical foul. How much did that kind of serve as a catalyst, but also you guys got to the line a lot in the third quarter? I think we were just being us. Um, we finally got, got it going offensively and we're able to put some stops together. And I think we just kept sharing the ball and kept competing and that's what led to the big run. And we were putting pressure on the rim too. Um, getting to the free throw line, uh, staying aggressive and attacking the rim. Any other questions for the athletes? Manny, how were you satisfied with your game and the team's game tonight? Um, I mean, you can never be too satisfied, but I feel like we played well as a team today um, on both offense and defense. Uh, we were able to play team defense on um, everybody and help each other out. And then we were able to find each other on the offensive end. For both or either of you, did the press they had during the second quarter affect your offense? No. We turned it over a little bit, but I mean, I feel like we were, yeah, credit to them. But um, I mean, we were able to cover for each other and kind of uh, push through some of those turnovers that we did have. Um, and then get more comfortable, you know, with breaking the press. Yeah, I think we were able to, after we had a few turnovers, just to get more steady and just be available and be relentless receivers um, to try to save some of those turnovers. And I think we finally did a better job of that. Soli Ortiz Reese for Slam. I just had a question for Coach. Uh, uh, sorry, we're not on the coach yet. We're oh, to the coach later. I'm sorry. Yes. Well, we'll be back to ask that in a little bit. Aubrey, with 14 points for you tonight, eight in the third quarter, just how big of a game did she have? 
She was huge um, on the offensive end and the defensive end. She got her hands on so many loose balls, um, was diving on the floor. Um, her effort and hustle was really good tonight. And just she can make plays. She's not just a shooter. She can get to the rim. Had a couple and ones. And it's just really cool to see her keep being more aggressive because we need that. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. All right, we will now start with an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll get to questions in the room. Well, one, I think, you know, look at March Madness today and how amazing it's been just, just in general. Um, so many different teams, so many upsets in the last couple days. Um, so much, you know, parity in our game. I love that. And um, I, thought, I thought, you know, we got to play a really good Portland team. I think it took us a little bit, honestly. Um, they've got great size. And they've got great talent on their team. Uh, we came in, and you could tell that we obviously respected them, uh, didn't know them, they didn't know us. That's one of the best parts about playing in March. And um, I'm really proud of the team basketball because it wasn't always pretty at all at all times. Uh, and at the same time, I thought we did a really great job of covering for each other today. So we saved some turnovers. We helped each other on the defensive end. Um, and you know, I thought really in the second half our our offensive movement was was really good. Hi again. Um, they just left, but I just wanted to ask you, how have you seen them lead up into this mode, moment, Taylor and Maddie? Like, what have you seen um, yeah. through them in terms of leading the team? Yeah. Uh, well, one, I mean, I can't talk about this probably enough, and probably people get sick of it, but um, to have the kind of transition, to have a coaching transition is is never an easy thing. Uh, they've been amazing, and they've stayed. I mean, look at what they've done, what they've built, and so they are all about Oklahoma. They just are. They're all about the team. They're incredible ambassadors, not just for our sport, our university, but our entire state, and honestly, for women's basketball. Um, they're genuine. They're authentic. They literally, I love when people, when they get asked questions about their teammates because they light up when they talk about them. That doesn't happen a lot. And so, and that's genuine, that's, that's very authentic. And so they lead in a very authentic and genuine way. Uh, they want the best for each other, but they also bring it every day. And so for them to be able to do that, um, that's when really good things tend to happen. And that's exactly what's happened, you know, especially in these last two years for them. My second question for you was coming from a loss in the Big 12 tournament and then, you know, you guys taking it hard but coming back here and getting this early win, how does that feel? Yeah, you know, and I get asked the question a lot of, um, you know, because we just finished last weekend, right? And so we didn't have a whole week off or, um, but, you know, you lose a hard game and then you, you turn around and you have a new opponent the next day. And so, you know, for us, we're like, it's a whole day and we don't even know what to do because you're not scouting an opponent as coaches, right? And that feels like an eternity. Um, but I feel like they did a really great job of being able to flip it and continue to just stay the course and continue to get better. But I also feel like this group does an incredible job of, you know, a lot of times this generation is, oh, they're entitled or, oh, this, or they don't work or anything like that. But I feel like they look in the mirror at hard things and they know that they've got to they've got to get better and they know that they can fall down and still get up and go. And so I think from from that I think that was on display today and we get to see it every day in practice. We get to see them, you know, have these hard moments and you face adversity whatever that is, but you still come back. And I think that's what they do a great job of leading that. Um, but I felt like our team did a nice job of that today. Joe Reedy, Associated Press, you talked about watching the tournament games today, mm -hmm. but how much did, did the team or you watch that Oklahoma State game? And was that a good lesson that maybe no lead is safe and to uh, concentrate all 40 minutes? You know, I don't, I don't know if it's a good lesson or not. I think we learned a lesson a year ago when we were a four seed playing a really good 12 seed. So we didn't come in this being like, okay, or facing a 13 seed last year. You know, we didn't come in this thinking, oh, our seed's higher, so therefore we look over anything. We came in excited to play basketball today. And it didn't matter who you were playing against. You got to show up and you got to play because it is March. 
You know, I, I'm, I'm sad because our, our, our Big 12, we're, we're good. We were cheering for Oklahoma State, you know, and people at Oklahoma don't really say that, right? But we wanted them to win, so we all wanted that. We wanted West Virginia to win. We were thrilled that Baylor came back. You know, so those, we were sad that Iowa State lost because Iowa State's a very good basketball team. And so um, when you get to this point, you're all about your conference and you want to cheer everybody on. So it doesn't necessarily teach you lessons of, oh, you know, it's because Purdue men lost last night. Now all of a sudden you got to wake up. No, you got to wake up regardless of who you play, when you play. It's March. And so you got to play and you get to play. And I felt like our players came out today with that look on their face of get to play. I felt like we played hard. We had a smile on our face, but we had fun playing. And now what did you think was the biggest key in the third, in the third quarter? I felt like the energy, even in that first possession, we came out and we had a lot of offensive rebounds and we played really hard. We got no points out of it. And then they came down and they scored even. Um, but the way that we came out with that kind of energy and intensity, I thought, okay, we're really doing some great things already. And I think when we do that and you take everything else out, um, we're a really good basketball team. And then I thought as time went on, but make no mistake though, I mean, they're long, it took us a little bit, and especially in that second quarter. I mean, their length, I think, got to us a little bit. Um, we had to make some adjustments in terms of being able to move, not coaching adjustments, but you gotta be able to, especially when you don't know a team and you're watching them on a screen. You don't know enough when you're watching on a screen. You gotta step out and you gotta feel it out. And that's what our players do a really good job of. So I thought we did a better job in the second half of taking care of the ball. Um, so that was a big, that was a big part too. Um, how much of it in the third quarter where you turn the defense up were adjustments the coaches made and how much of it was just the players making defensive plays? Well, you're talking to a coach that's always going to say it's the players because the players have to make those adjustments. And I feel like, again, when we as coaches can allow them that space really to be able to feel that game and make some of those adjustments, I think they do. Sometimes matchups can be some coaching, uh, but the players are always going to be the ones that play. The way that they played together today, I thought was, was phenomenal. I mean, that's where we got our hands. That's where we turned some, you know, that's where we got some deflections. That's where we got some steals. Um, but I feel like, and, and I don't know if we necessarily felt like the game was that physical. Um, that's, that is a lot. I think that's pretty standard for um, our typical games. And so we didn't necessarily feel like all of a sudden we needed to be more physical against Portland. That wasn't part of the game plan. It was really just to focus on who we are. Uh, what will you have to do? I mean, you made some turnovers mm -hmm. toward the end of the second half. What will you have to do to clean up and when you play against UCLA? Well, when you're playing on anybody's home floor, you, you got you to gotta take care of the basketball. It doesn't matter when it is, um, and it can't turn into points. Um, and so for us, and especially against such a great team, uh, and in, in the NCAA tournament, so that's an area that I don't know if there's a specific adjustment um, but we do need to be better receivers. That was one area I felt like they got their hands, I thought Portland got their hands on some bas on the ball a few times where we needed to catch it a little bit better. Um, and then we got to be a little bit more, um, make some singles and not some home run plays. There's a time and place to make a home run play and there's a time and place just to get your singles. And um, I think we had a couple turnovers in those two. Eight of 22 on three-pointers tonight. In the second half, it seemed like you were able to go more inside. Was that just what the game plan was dictating? I, I think we always want to be able to go inside and out. And although we do have three-point shooters, um, we still want just, we just want ball movement. We want to be able to take the best shot. So whatever that is, if it's a, if it's a three point shot, we'll take that three point shot. If it's in the paint, we'll take that, that shot too. So we want to really be able to make reads. I thought the second quarter, we went away from that. You know, we went away from the ball movement. We went away from, we turned it over a little bit, obviously, um, but we really went away from really setting each other up and playing together. And I thought in that third quarter, we did a much better job and it just went right to the fourth. Questions? All right, our last question right there. Uh, 
What problems does UCLA possess for you when you play them on Monday? Well, to be honest, I got to figure all that out tonight. Um, we've solely focused on Portland. I know, obviously, you know, from a national level, their, their guard plays incredible, and then they've got a, a player that can really stretch the floor. Um, and you're playing on their home floor. So we've got to be able to just come and we've got to be able to play because they'll change some things up as well. Uh, and, uh, but I'll have a better answer for you tomorrow. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.